Roth IRAs for kids. There's another social media platform that's out there. A lot of people like to go on there and talk about how you should start a Roth IRA for your children. And I'm not opposed to that because long-term, that money can grow extensively tax-free. It's a huge benefit for them. There's a lot of drawbacks though with the Roth IRA. So let's go through that, talk about some better accounts for your children. Hey, it's Eric with Jazz Wealth Managers, where we don't just invest the dough, we like to educate you on your dough. So the Roth IRA is a great account. Uh, one of the biggest things is though, is your child has to have income to be able to do a Roth IRA for kids. So if they don't, if they're three years old, a lot of people try to put a twist on this and say, well, they work for my company. Well, if you have a company, you can pay your child. The problem with this though, is that when you get audited by the IRS, you better find ways to justify how you paid little Susie, the three-year-old, uh, to work for your company. So just make sure you know that. From there, uh, one of the other big problems with a Roth IRA for kids is if you start this young, and they reach the age of 18, whether you want them to have it or not, it's theirs. Uh, that's their account, so you have to make sure that you're aware of that. And uh, if they're 18 and really responsible, good for them, they can use it for college or whatever the case is. But if they're 18 and they wanna rebel a bit, uh, you've just handed them a golden ticket to really have access to money that they can do whatever they want. Now, yes, they're gonna get penalized if they pull any of the growth out before 59 and a half, but it, a lot of 18 year olds may or may not be thinking about that. So it's just something to think through. So what are some other options for you that are out there if you can't do the Roth or you say, you know what, man, I, I didn't think of that. That's a, a good idea. One of them is called an UGMA or an UTMA account. So the way these work is you're able to put money in there. That's still the child's money, but now you're the custodian of that money. You actually have custody of it until they reach a certain age. Now, certain places are still 18, but that goes all the way up to, I believe it's 25 years old, depending on the state you're in. And so you may be able to buy a little time to make sure that you have them get to an age where they're responsible enough to take on this money. Now, one thing to consider though, with that account, and then also the next one that I'm gonna name off, is you do have to think about FAFSA. So if your kids are going into college, that's another one to think through because anytime you have money in the child's name, it could count against them, not as much of in a retirement account, but definitely in the UGMAs and UTMA accounts. The other one though that I really like, and this is my personal favorite, I have this set up for myself, for my kids, and that's what I'm doing, and that's an individual account in my name. It's in my name, uh, yes, that's horrible of me, isn't it? The fact is, is that it allows me to have the assets for myself, and First of all, I can you know make sure that I'm on my track for retirement. But second of all, once I have done that, the assets that are still in my name, I have full control over that to be able to help my children when they need it the most. So I'm not handing them the money and just saying, hey, you know what's yours now, good luck. Instead, I can pick and choose when to help them. Maybe it is for college, maybe it's for a wedding, maybe it's 16, they need to get a vehicle, I can help them with that. But instead, I'm having a little bit more of the control there because I want to make sure that I'm not just giving them all of this money up front at 18 years old so that they can potentially do smart things with it or potentially, you know, not do anything great with it. Because I think more than anything as a parent, I think the most frustrating thing isn't that you're wanting to help your children and they make one bad decision. But if they make multiple bad decisions because now they have all of this money and they've completely emptied the account, uh, that's a that's a tough pill to swallow. So think about it. Um, you know, there's a lot of different options that are out there. If you're looking to have somebody help manage an account for your child or for yourself, uh, reach out to us. You can go to jazzwealth.com and get started. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more FinTips videos, click here. Be sure to like and subscribe also.